There you go. There you go. Besides my stream being shit lately, I'm doing good, Switch. <laughs> How are you? Alright, we're redoing this, I guess. Welcome to Twin Mirror! Developed by Don't Nod Entertainment, the same makers of uh, Life is Strange and, unfortunately, the Vampire series. Actually, there's only one Vampire game. Um, hopefully that, that doesn't become a series. Um, but yeah. The same makers from Life is Strange. Uh, I know nothing about this game. Besides, this is gonna be a blind playthrough, by the way. It's in the title. Eventually, after, uh, the VOD is published. Um, right now we're doing this live. But, uh, I'm a little bit worried about this game, though. Because, I don't know when this game was released, a few months back. But, no one has ever talked about it. Uh, same with another Life is Strange game called Tell Me Why. I don't know. I don't. I don't know why. To be honest with you, it's just it never had any traction. No marketing. Nothing. I saw a trailer way before. Uh, way before it, it had a release date. Like it was bare bones. The trailer was bare bones. It caught my interest, but it was still bare bones and. The first red flag is that no one ever talked about it when the game was released, no one streamed it. So I'm a little bit worried about that. Um, I feel like Don't Nod has this curse where if the game is not doesn't have the title Life is Strange in it, it might not be good. Because the last uh, Don't Nod game I played was Vampire. And that, you know, Don't Nod is famous for having a good story, you know? Pull on the heartstrings kind of stories. And Vampire was not it. Let me tell you, it was it was just not it. So, I'm a little bit worried, but at the same time, I'm looking forward to it. Also, we're playing Twin Mirror. I know I mentioned a couple other games in my uh, Ghost Runner series. Maybe in, my, in the finale of Dishonored. But... But I feel like Ghost Runner was so fast-paced that I need to slow it down a notch. And also, I've kind of been looking forward to a story-intense game. Because Ghost Runner had a story, but it was like, it was alright. You know, it was alright. But it wasn't all that. Um, let's jump into the settings right quick. Let you know what I'm going. Let you know what I'm dealing with. So, when I first launched the game, this was all in ultra. But I, um, which I, I think my honestly my computer can run it. But you know, streaming takes a performance hit. So we want to make sure we don't have any performance issues at all. So I'm gonna go with high. Subtitles should be on. And what else do I gotta say before starting the game? I've been rambling for, for too long. Six minutes of uh, nonsense. Um, yeah, Twin Mirror, I think, is going to be a good game to play. The next game I have in, in, in plan on the table, on the agenda, is a shooter. But uh, we'll, get there, we'll get there when we cross that bridge. Right now, I want to take it slow. Have a story intense game. Let the story tell itself. Lost on Arrival. I don't have a save on this game, by the way. So I don't know what that's about. But, let's go. Don't know what you got. I swear, this story better be decent. The skies are finally clearing up after a light rain fell most of the afternoon. The weather's approaching 49 degrees, so we've got a brisk West Virginia evening ahead of us. Wrap up tight and settle in, folks. This is 104.3 WBCK, the Bassett Sound. I'm your host, Carrie Hammond. Coming up after a short break, mental health expert Dr. Wick will discuss the recent opioid epidemic that's been affecting. I also don't know where this takes place. At all. Change my clothes and wash my mind. Does the wheel go down that low? Let me breathe and I'll let you go. Looks like it takes place in the middle, middle of fucking nowhere. <laughs> Damn! You know what? That's smart. No texting and driving, kids. 
Big brain moves. Big brain plays. Also forgot to mention, I have played through Life is Strange 1 and Before the Storm. If that gives you any kind of indication. Hey, is this copyright? Maybe. It fucking might be. I know Captain Spirit. I, I didn't play Captain Spirit. I tried to. I couldn't get into it. But I know that game had like a... A mute copyright songs option, but it just made everything quiet. So... It was kind of awkward. I should probably check out this cutscene. Time to kill before the funeral. Might as well spend it here. This is what you're wearing to the funeral? Oh, there's no mute copyright. I hope it's not copyright. Yo, don't nod. Don't give don't give me DMCA, bro. Yo, is there an FOV setting? Oh, I might need to change my mouse. I am playing this with keyboard. Uh how's the mouse? Eh, a little bit too fast. Let's like turn it down a notch. This place was always one for dis Still too fast. Yeah, this first this first part is gonna be a trial and error, boys. Visions. Somewhere for things to fall apart. So what genre of game is this? Uh adventure? I think. No littering. I came up here every chance I could. One of the all-time great views. Really makes a small town look big. Okay. Giving me some, uh, definitely giving me Life is Strange vibes. I'm not sure Nick would even want me at his funeral. Given how I left things. Nick, huh? Basewood River? I remember spending entire summers on the banks fishing with Nick. My hometown. It felt more imposing in my nightmares. See... Strange to think of Basswood without its mine. The thing that captured me about this game, that I wanted to play it, like, after seeing the trailer, was kind- it was kind of on a serious note, right? Um... And don't not as, you know, with the Life is Strange series, there's some super, super fucking corny moments. So I'm hoping they don't cram too much of that in this game. I'm hoping it's more on a serious side. Because a sign protects better than sturdy, rail uh, sturdy railings. True. I don't want to progress too much. I want to explore everything. Is that a trick question? Invisible wall? Ah, uh, invisible wall. Keeps hikers and hunters safe from bears. I left a sandwich in it for a whole week once. Dad never let me forget it. Also, don't be scared to let me know if the sounds too, uh, if it's too loud or whatever. 100% Life is Strange vibes. Too much corny. These trails were great to walk if you wanted to feel truly alone. West Virginia's scenic mountain forests are home to deer, flying squirrels, red foxes, field mice. Oh, we're in Virginia. Field mice, rabbits, cave bats, among other animals. Hmm. Hunting is another tradition I could never get behind. Just don't see the appeal. When hunting, carry with you any and all required permits and licenses. Do not hunt while under the influence of alcohol. Hunting is forbidden between half an hour after sunset and half an hour before sunrise. I will say the mouse is very slow when it comes to this shit. 
Some of these species are endangered. She wrote an article about it. I kind of half-ass read this, but uh, there you go. Patch of moss. I get the feeling it still sees some use, given how bad the coverage is up here. There seems to be something here. Um, can I go to my journal? Lovers scarring a tree to write down their initials. Always seemed twisted to me. Okay, I'm assuming it's J. Okay, J is not journal. All right, boys. Escape, maybe? Alright, well, not how to play. No, 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 no. Controls. Since I'm already here, I might as well. Journals, I? The fuck kind of... Why the hell is it I? Can I change this? Fucking idiot. <laughs> uh, I ran away from this town two years ago. Definitely not ready to be back. Not ready to bury my best friend either, but it is what... I must do. Damn, we gotta bury our best friend? Ah, uh, shit. Next funeral starts in about an hour. Enough time to uh, for a walk on the promontory to clear my mind. I don't- I've never seen that word in my life. Or to delay the inevitable. Anna? Okay, my name is Sam. The one that got away. Ah. Ate a really good sandwich earlier, huh? Nick's been my friend since we were kids. My only friend. I ghosted him two years ago when I left Basswood. I'm assuming that's how you say that. If it's Basswood, you know, suck my ass. And now he's ghosting me by being dead. That's fucked up. I left Basswood two years ago to run away from a job at a small-time newspaper. Town full of anger people and a failed relationship. I didn't glance back. Now I'm going home to attend my best friend's funeral. What could be more fun than facing all your past mistakes at your friend's graveside, right? No choice has been made yet. I used to love looking at basswood from up here. Thanks, Sam. Th thanks for making me look like a dumbass. All right, it's basswood, boys. Help give me perspective. Until that day. My bad. Can I join Nick? Can't the real world be as clear and peaceful as my own mind? The hell's that math equation? Wait, can I click on that? I saw a mouse icon. Even if it does mean nothing stays hidden in here. Not even me. Alright, I'm sorry to ruin the moment, but I did turn up the brightness quite a bit. Um, I turned it up like by 20, because you know, it kind of, it translates different on stream compared to how I see it. Bro, is this the, is this man the reincarnation of fucking Einstein? <laughs> Optimal shot angles. Damn, I never played pool like that, dude. Thinking about equations and shit, I just shoot the ball, bro. It goes in the hole, I win. You don't gotta be all complex with it. Wait, can I view that? Hmm. Game locked me into 60 FPS, which is fun. As long as it doesn't go under that. Memory? 
I, uh... I've been meaning to ask you something. Don't freak out. Would you be my little girl's godfather? I, I wouldn't trust anyone else with this. And yet I stopped taking his calls. He even called once the day before he died. I'll never know what he wanted to talk to me about. So you're telling me Don't Nod got the rights to Pac-Man, huh? Okay. You know what? I just watched my boy Karagos playthrough of the medium, and this, this kind of reminds me of the medium a little bit. This is Anna. She works freelance. Uh, does a lot of the human interest pieces. What can I say? I'm interested in humans and their pieces. <laughs> what do you like to write? I gotta run to a review with Walt. You two feel free to chit-chat. And Sam, be nice. I had never mm. met someone so interested in others, even in me. Bruh, lawsuit incoming, let's go! Maybe that's why this game was on the hush. Got blackballed by Pac-Man. God, that fucking bloom, bro. The story is important. You know I think that. It's just... People around here have short tempers and long memories. Be careful. Sam, are you even listening to me? Nope. I heard you, Anna. But no, I wasn't listening. See? Yo, if the bloom is gonna be that fucking bright, I might just default the brightness. We'll see, though. It has to be some dark moments. Like, nighttime moments. I wonder why that pool cue table is, uh... Like, why is it there? Huh. This ain't a horror game, right? I wanna say no. I don't Come think on, so. Man. Look at this. <laughs> what is it? Someone skinny dipping? Anna. You really need to see this. Oh. I can't even see. Something's blocking it. Sam. What are you doing? That's not what you want to hear. I'm trying to be romantic. That's not what you want to hear, dude. What? Wait. Please don't tell me you're proposing. Yikes. Down on one knee, a ring. What else would I be doing? Damn. You look like I just ran over your grandma. Okay, the silence is really starting to scare me now. Anna, please say something. Sam, put that away. Come on. I don't want a ring. I don't need a ring. You should know that. We've discussed it before. Rest in peace, my boy. Ooh. That was hard to watch. We weren't happy. She was the one brave enough to face that. Lost in my head again. How much time did I miss? Who the hell's bug? Um, I think I read that right. I'm, I'm. It might have changed. This one's new though. Would my whole life be different had she had said yes? Seeing her again, that's my. That's going to be hard. You damn right it is. Yeah, part of me is looking forward to it. The rest of me wants to turn around and leave now. Damn, dude. That memory had to sting. Like a fucking bitch. Alright. Moving on.
This game is kind of loud in my out. ear, so Maybe you it's for the best. On the bright side, Nick's not alive for me to let him down again. So we ended up skipping the funeral. I wanted to go to the funeral, man. Bro. That's fucked up. A lot of people were upset when it closed, but not upset enough to fix it. Almost missed that little dialogue. Can I sprint? Nope. Sorry, Walter, but I don't think I'll stick around. Given up already? Just a quick, depressing jaunt down memory lane and then you're gone? I know you think that the only thing waiting for you down there is hurt. Lots of hurt. And you might be right. But it's been two years. It's time to face the world. Time to adult. But the good news, though, at least you don't have to do it alone. I'm assuming that was me talking to myself. Unless it was like a reincarnation of Nick. Not a bad intro, not a bad intro. I wish Sam would have went to the funeral, but it's, it's cool. I really hope you can make the wake. Oh shit. Oh, I can still go. Hell yeah, dude. Lost the signal. Some things never change. You know, you could type faster with using both hands. I right, so got some like weird second personality. I'm assuming that's my conscience or something. Maybe I should have watched the trailer before starting this. Just to get my... Get into the game a little bit. But this is it's full blind playthrough. Fuck it. Well, speaking of nighttime, here we are. Oh, you're a bug. My daughter. Was she like fucking 10? Yuli, you actually came. It's been a while. You've gotten taller. Wait. Can we talk? Oh, wait, wait. Nick is the other We're guy. I'm Sam. Right never mind, never mind. I thought this was my dog. It's cold. Yo, how old is she, man? She looks like... She's probably one of those, uh... Not to be disrespectful, short people? I think Mitch so is offensive, right? Left. I don't want to call her that. Well, nowadays. Joan, that's not fair. You left. Let's pull a Fabio, boys. Look, Joan, I messed up. You said you wouldn't leave. I didn't even you apologize. Said... You said... I don't remember exactly, but you pinky swore. I didn't mean to lie. I just screwed up. After Anna broke up with me, I'm... I'm sorry. I wish words meant anything. I wish this didn't make it harder for you to trust me now. You could have at least called something. Especially after, you know, after my dad. I don't know what to say to that. You're right. I wasn't in a state where I could reach out to anyone. I 
I'm still not. If Nick hadn't died, I never would have come back. Wow. Thanks for being honest. <laughs> You're always at least honest. Listen, I, uh, I wanted to talk to you about what happened to Dad. It doesn't make sense. He wouldn't have just crashed. He drove like a grandma, you know that. It's wrong. I don't buy it. I'm just in town for the funeral, Joan. I'm not a PI or a cop. You're the closest thing I can talk to. Will you just look into it, Muley? Please. Is that my nickname or is that she my last name? Father's death to mean something. But where Ooh. does that lead? Is that supposed to be me? What the fuck? What if it leads to the truth? That could change everything. An hour ago, you wanted to run away. Now you want to start another investigation? This is the nerd side of me? This is the one that set up the pool table in the dream, isn't it? Just tonight. To reassure her. And myself. This is a wake. If you poke around, people may end up poking back. Okay, whatever you do, at least leave the kid out of it. Dude, stop it showing cool her face. She looks weird to me. Friends don't lie to each I'm sorry. Other, even if it means disappointing her again. It's your call. Don't give me a timer. Okay, good. Cool. Alright, cool. Uh, were you talking about people with dwarvism? Maybe. I guess if that's the proper term. I hope I'm not on a time limit. Uh... It's a murder investigation. Damn. Okay, keep her out of it. Promise to look into it. I mean, last time I promised her some, it, you know, she, she got mad at me for not keeping it. So, uh... Hmm. Yeah, she looks weird to me, dude. This is where chat comes in, actually. I say promise? Hell yeah, dude. Fuck it. I was thinking promise, too, to be honest. I don't trust the nerd side of me. Or whatever the fuck that is. Detective Sam okay. over here. I'll see what I can see and all that. Gumshoe it up. You will? You make some good points. It doesn't fit. I hate when things don't fit. Yeah, me too. I might just be, I don't know, crazy or something, but... You want to know for sure. I get it. Thanks, Muley. I, um... I should go in before my mom misses me. You better get in there too. Can't hide in your car all night. Is Who's my car? Out here? I do. See you inside. I don't know, man. Joan just confuses me. She looks like she's 10, but she. They acted like she was driving, or she could drive. She also has a very baby face. It, she look- she out here sus, man! She looks the same age! In that photo. Pac-Man again, by the way. So this was my car. Why the fuck was she in the driver's seat? What? Yo, is that guy talking to a, to you a completely different person? Journal updated. I guess we gotta we gotta keep doing this. Um, everyone knows Nick and I were best friends. Everyone thinks I owe it to him to be here. His daughter Joan goes even further. She thinks I should stay here and investigate her father's death. Our old boss Walter is sure to have something to say too. I won't be able to sneak past him. Did this man park it? Get out. <laughs> I will say, I suck at parking. Now I bet you the game looks too dark, huh? Swear to God, bro. Story of my life. Can I, like, uh, do anything out here? Might as well talk to Walter. I'll have to sooner or later. Oh, now I can walk. Or shift. Speed walk. 
Seems more that the Basswood Jungle Crew is in attendance. Whoever said you can judge someone by their car never met Terra. There's a cop here. Some of the police force stopped by. Which means most of the police force stopped by. You just walk around, see if there's any collectibles. Nothing in the trash. Wait, wait, wait. Nope. I'm gonna be honest. This is giving me mixed feelings. Eh, low key, same. I don't, I don't have high expectations for this. But you know, don't not can be unpredictable sometimes. All right. I'm gonna go in that alleyway over there. See if there's anything over there, and then uh, proceed. Coming through the back will give me looks. The old bar sign reminds me of when Nick and I were still kids. You're fucking blocking it, bro. Okay. I am not reading this. One day there was another boy playing Pac-Man at the bar. Did they just, did they make this game because Pac-Man was like, hey, I want to be in a Don't Not game, feature me. They made this game? Is that what it is? There's a lot of Pac-Man references in the first, what, 30 minutes of the game? 20? Mementos. You see, I want to activate this, but I don't want to actually go through the back door. Can I save? Ethan keeps a spare key around, but I should use the front. Oh, thank God. Okay. I just want to interact with everything, you know? One of Nick's favorite matchups might be the first game he'll miss. That smile she had when I gave it to her. Uh -huh. She could barely get on it back then. Yeah. Yeah. So that's her bike, huh? Yes. And you let her sit in the driver's seat, why? Yes. yes. The cat food is under the sink. Yes. Yes, it is, mother. Trust me. Oh, Samuel is here. I'll call you back. Samuel Higgs, as I live and breathe, has it really been over two years? Regardless, I'm so glad you finally made it. It's good to see you. What kept you? A trip down memory lane. I missed the funeral, but I made it to Nick's wake. You have to bring it in for a hug. It's a basswood back in town requirement. Oh so my god. Even if I wish the circumstances were different. In times like these, we need the comforting touch of others. At least I do. Fine. You're kind of creepy, but it's, it's all right. Also, have you spoken to Anna lately? No, why? Um, no reason. If you get the chance, we should catch up. We should really catch up. I'll see you inside. So that one was a time decision. I like how they did that. It's kind of different. Oh my god, how many times is this journal going to be updated? Okay, I'll read this. But, like, the rest? No thanks. No thanks. Everyone knows Nick and I were best friends. Everyone thinks that. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I already read that. Never mind. Okay. Uh, why the? F oh. This. That's why it keeps telling me there's something new. It was her idea to carve the initials. Hmm. Also, this man really missed his friend's funeral. Yes, he did. Best friend too. He said best friend. Seeing the old Joker was nicer than I expected. Yeah, Walter's pretty cool. He seems like the backstabbing type of guy, though, so I wouldn't trust him with my life, but he's aight. Uh, 
Ugh, I'm not ready for this. I mean, you already missed a funeral, bro. Here we go. Just get the fuck in there. We're loading. We're loading a long time. Game? Imagine missing the homie's funeral. Imagine. Mr. Samuel Higgs, big shot investigative reporter. Oh, I am an investigator. Didn't think you'd ever be back in here. I'd gladly slash your tires. But that mean you couldn't leave town. And you are leaving town right after this, right? Just really embracing those hick stereotypes, huh, Joel? <laughs> Fuck him up! Gentlemen. We'll get you good old boys another round. Mighty kind of you, Declan. Sit your ass back They're down. They're not worth it, Higgs. They're not worth it. Making friends already, I see. Declan, been a while. Hey, careful. I'd rather not be working tonight. And you always seem to angry up everyone's blood. Reporter, though, true? I'm only here to pay my respects to Nick. Nothing more, nothing less. Yeah, shame that. You watch yourself. Now, what I do know about this game... I think it's time I go put up a photo at the memorial board. That's what people do, right? Is that there's a lot of endings. Don't know which one I'll be getting. Next week. Barely made it inside the bar, but things have already taken a strange turn. Joan's obsessed with the idea that her father's death wasn't an accident. She wants me to investigate. I can't get it out of my head. It's as if a long, dormant part of me had been awakened. Um, tend the wig, pay homage to Nick. Okay. We're gonna do everything before doing that. Strangers. Declan lacks subtlety, but he loves this town like no one else. You always did know how to start a ruckus. Can't say I missed that. You always did okay, know how can to I start talk? Ruckus. All right. Old timers in general already don't like me, and the article just made it worse. Hey Sam, why don't you drink to Nick on the other side of the bar? Wow. That's where Nick and I sat every time he dragged me out for drinks after work. Sammy, oh, it's been ages. Tara? Oh me? I've had this stomach thing lately, always churning. Uh, and this thing with Nick, his car went up like a Sunday ham. He burned alive, you know. Have you met Why do you sound happy about that? Just after you left. Um, no. The he burned to death, you know, guys. That was pretty cool. You wrote on the mine. You must have put in a lot of late work on that. Um. It took reading thousands of public records, but a pattern. No chill, man. You are a bulldog, a dangerous man to anyone using power. I don't even know who Tara power. is. Give me, give me That's a memento nice or something. Say. Give me some info. Now don't hesitate to drop by the pharmacy sometime. Oh, and Sam, you but get the fuck now, away from me. I have a feeling you're not here for us. Oh, oh, right. Don't be a stranger, Sam. She called me Sammy too. Freaky bitch. Office administrator at Basswood Jungle. Oh, she's a co-worker. Uh, she likes everyone and everything. Especially people burning alive. Dinosaurs, <laughs> romance novels, rice cookies. What the fuck? That's a weird fun fact. 
Unusual street. All right, she's a weirdo. Got it, got it. He was new in town, but it seems like he knows how to fit in. Um, that seems like the end game. Let's not do that. No more than 3,000 milligrams. Bess always had a soft spot for Nick. I thought it was 4,000. I think she liked his work ethic. <laughs> That's what crooked pharmacists... How much you want to bet she killed him? That amount is... I, I wouldn't fucking doubt it. I wouldn't doubt you, man. Things. If you thought that... Fucking... I was... I was there in the bushes! Fucking... When, when he crashed. Saw him burning alive! Mind Palace? Oh, okay. Nick and I spent so much money on this machine. And they must have spent a lot of money in this game. Infamous uh, arcade machine. Hello? I can't use by garage bins. Yes. But, uh. You got nothing to say about it? Okay. Ah, here's a pool table. Can I do some math equations? Damn, Sam, you walk fucking slow as hell. Alright. Am I bugged? I can't... There you go. Oh. The other one could probably read too. Alright, let me go back to that one. Just in case someone wants to read it. God, the mouse sensitivity is so slow when it comes to this. I'm moving my fucking... I'm covering the whole mouse pad, bro. Can I interact with that? I would love to zoom in on the photos. Alright, whatever. Blame the game, boys. I would also love to play some darts. Some people can play this game drunk. Anna was best at three beers. You'd think a kid at a bar would stand out more. I also want to say that another red flag... Is that don't most don't not games have episodes? I don't think this one has episodes. It's just one straight game, which is kind of different. I mean, the only other game that's real different from Don't Not is Vampire or Vampire, but that one doesn't count because that game sucks. Everyone here seemed to really like my dad. Of course they did, Bug. Everyone's nice in that creepy way. It's weird. Even Anna's weird. Um. Your dad was a good guy. People don't really know what to say, but they genuinely liked your dad. So even if they're weird and clumsy, it comes from a good place. <laughs> now you sound all weird and clumsy. Don't I always? Do you ever just watch people? <laughs> it's pretty much all I do. Me too. But I don't always like what I see. I bet you that crazy bitch watched as Nick died. Nice. Going through the arm. Cool. I prefer games that aren't episodic. Eh, I'm okay with it. I don't hate it or anything. Um. Can I talk to you again? That one lacks subtlety, but he loves this town like no one else. Okay. We got Walter again. I didn't know you read Dickens. Walter can be overwhelming at times. But he means well. Uh, not really. You just quoted him a couple of times. So I had to throw them all out on their ear, and only then did I realize. Ah, Samuel, my favorite ex muckracker. Join us. Join us. How was the funeral? Wasn't there. 
setting up for this. Everyone came, most of the town it felt like. A sea of sad, wet eyes. I gave the eulogy. Felt hollow. So hollow. He worked for me for years. For years, my best reporter. What do you even say about him? Remember that article? Something about stoplights? No one cared, but he did. Months of effort. Yield signs. He approached each story with his pen like a knight wielding a sword. It's the small things. Like he always kept his window down. Said cars made him claustrophobic. That's how he stays with us. The little details. I remember the bar bets about that safe spot at Pac-Man. He, he got me one night. Yeah, got me once too. Can't believe it's real. Enough about Nicholas, enough. What Tell you mean? Me, how have you been, Sam? How have you really been? It's his fucking day. Ah, uh, big man sounding a bit strange. True. Be vague. Let's be vague. Got a new start and new perspectives. I'm helping my mother with her garden. I've been volunteering. Terrific to hear, my boy. Terrific to hear. Well, Don't smile at me like that. Of your gents' time. Go, mingle, circulate. But you must join us for an actual round later. You must. Oh. Oh, Walter. Can I ask you something? Questions are the fountainhead of knowledge. Nick's crash. Was there anything suspicious about it? I asked myself the same thing. The very same thing. It did seem odd. Young Nicholas, a careful man in all things, including driving. I looked into it myself, you know what I found? What? A tragic accident with nothing amiss. I am both relieved and saddened to say. Ah. Life is rarely like a crime thriller, and while I don't mind you asking, some might find it a distasteful conversation at a man's memorial. Especially from you. I'll uh, keep that in mind. See that you do, my boy. See that you do. I'm also noting. Alright, I'm getting the picture now. Getting the picture. We're investigating Nick's death, which was my quote unquote best friend, also my co worker. And I feel like that the game is setting up to be where everyone in this bar is fucking sus. Especially that. What's, what's her fucking name? Tara. Tara. Let me just go through these. With Walter, what you see is what you get. His grief for Nick. Nick is sincere. Are you sure about that? That's a creepy smile. Also, god damn that neck. Slash chin. Non-existent. Oh, I gotta talk to you, man. Don't, don't make me talk to her. I've never known Tara to not take over a conversation. Ah, oh, gee, I'm dreading this. Hold on. Wait. <laughs> is there anything else I can do? Can I come? You guys friendly now? Nope. Okay. Attend the wake. Pay homage to Nick. Okay. I think she's the last person. Except Kathy over there. Alright, hopefully I don't have to talk to you. So oh, tragic. god damn it. What happened to Nick? The details are horrible. They think he didn't die on impact. Instead, he roasted. Roasted to death. <laughs> Not enough to damage the bones, but, you know, not a pretty sight. How do you know that? Unless you're into that kind of thing, of course. I, I didn't mean to be rude, Sam. Can we nickname her Crazy Bitch? <laughs> you were meant to be rude. <laughs> Fuck it. Well, you were, Tara. You can't talk about Nick like that. Yeah. What did I say? It was only the truth. Poor, poor Sam. Now that Nick is gone, everyone in town hates you. I mean... I don't. Why would I? It's not my job you destroyed. Wow. Wow. Pretty much all of Basswood, but not to me. Well, so, fuck you. I don't hate you. Thanks for the confidence booster, Tara. I'll see you around. I wonder if we could extend that extend that dialogue if I picked the other one. Nick was the good sort. Sometimes the good sort dies. Also, yeah, this is what I noticed too. It's not fair. Mo um, I don't it's been a while since I played Life is Strange, but I'm pretty sure there was like different branches of dialogue you could explore. Kind of like Vampire. Vampire, you could explore all the branches, unfortunately. But, um, too much, in fact. 
But this one, you get to... It seems like you get one choice and you go with it. You, you can't uh, exhaust the dialogue. Which, uh, to be honest, I'm kind of glad. Alright, Kathy, I don't know who you is, but what's up? There was no love lost between Kathy and Nick since their divorce. Oh. But anyone can see she's taking his death hard. She is the wife. Kathy, uh... Sam, you actually came. Nah, she's gonna give me shit, isn't she? I know you two haven't been together for a long time, but I'm still sorry. We hadn't been close in years. But he was my daughter's father. I'll miss him. Joan was really hurt when you left town. Nick and I were never close after the breakup, and Joan's never had a lot of friends. Yeah. Um. Maybe don't break her heart this time when you leave town. All right? Oh, do I want to bring that up? I mean, might as well, right? 